Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Alright, testing. Is this thing on? Hi! Happy New Year. Welcome to Cut the Tape. Ah, oh. You know, I was thinking of what to do tonight. Should I open up all my sweeps? That would be a cut the tape out of necessity because storing box sweeps is a lot harder than storing carded sweeps. And I thought, well, if I open the sweeps and I gotta open the cyclonuses, I open all those cyclonuses, and I open the shark cons, more of a hassle. I gotta be in the right state of mind. I thought, all right, should I open up uh, Stuff from a previous convention that I'll never attend again because one of the organizers is a psychopath. Uh, uh, let the past die. I thought, you know what? Let me just do something simple. Let me just, let me just do something easy. And uh, I have a selection of small little things here. Small little things that I thought would be fun. I've got some mini mates. I've got some nano cars. I've got some world smallest and a few other things. So let's let's get started. Okay. World smallest. Now I didn't know these came packaged like this. I thought they came individually packaged in like a G2 triangle clamshell type thing. These micro figures forego the clamshell and are packed two per box. There's a Optimus Starscream, Bumblebee Starscream, and Bumblebee Optimus. And I found these at like one of those discount stores. Uh, what was it called? Oh, it's right on my name. Uh, Pizza Hut, KFC, um, Big Lots. Found these at Big Lots, didn't know they existed in this packaging. So I'm like, all right, well, I mean, the price is right. I think these were like six bucks a pop. So I bought a whole bunch and uh, well, I'm finally gonna open these. Cause I only had one set of the the ones in the triangle packaging. I'm not using trusty old yellow tonight. Um, this is a knife. <laughs> I forgot I had this. Uh, this is a knife I found when I went to go see The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. I was leaving the theater. It was like two in the morning. And uh, I looked down and there was a knife sitting there on the ground in the theater. Free knife. Who knows the history of this knife? Uh, could have done any number of things. That's not apple juice to relax. Champagne. All right. It is sharp, I do like that. So what's cool about these figures, oh, we get get a little booklet. Let's, let's examine the booklet. All right, it's just advertising all the, all the little nano things. It's got, you know, nano magic cards, nano D&D. &D. Oh, nano back to the future. I didn't know about that. 
I mean, they got so many things. Uh, you know, world's smallest Big Lebowski. Elf on a Shelf. Bakugan. Those are actually pretty cool. Connect Four. Turtles. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some interesting, interesting licenses they have here. You know. And then these are all classic arcade video games that fit in the palm of your hand. Tiny arcade. The arcade actually works. And they're like this big. Technology. Absolutely crazy. All right, so we've got a little background here. That does nothing for me. We're gonna recycle that. These come into originally packaged. Recycle that. Oh, what a surprise. Oh, I'm very happy about this. Here's the package. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Arms and head move. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I guess if they can make a tiny arcade, they can make an articulated Nano Optimus Prime. That's crazy. All right. Was there any, just need to check if there was anything in here. Oh, there is. Oh, it's the display stand. Mm. Look at that. That is precious. I gotta bring this in close. I'm an old man, you know, my vision. Oh, that, that is awesome. Now we got a little, look, we can, we can stand little Optimus. Look at, look at him against my forehead. I'll pull all my hair back. That's a, that's a hair joke. Very nice, very nice. And you can close this again. That's, oh, that's awesome. That's a win. Starscream. It's a fine bouquet. It does have a slight woody odor that you get sometimes when a, a toy's been sitting on the shelves for a while. Same thing. Articulation. That's great. Hey, you remember World's Smallest Transformers when they came out from Takara, like, uh, I don't know, say around 2003-ish, 2002-ish? Let's see. Normally, I don't like to see guys get pegged, but there we go. Look at that. Oh, it's articulate. It's it's the little star scream. Oh my god. That's awesome. And if you ever want to put them back in the package, you can because this snaps shut. Oh, that's so precious. Oh. I kind of want more now. That is really, really, you know what? They get an A plus for packaging. A plus, absolute win. Now, I, I, I said I got multiples of these, so you see me mishandling these boxes, don't freak out. No, I, I got multiple. This one will keep, uh, subscribe and comment. And you will enter into a chance to win the Starscream. You just gotta come 
to my house to pick it up. I live in the woods. Or you can meet me at TFCon in March in Los Angeles. Well, I'll happily bring it to you in person. Or at any other TF con. But not the other con. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not putting money in Squarehead's pocket. <sighs> oh my gosh. You guys ever drink Propel water? I've never had it. My daughters love it. Oh my god, my eyesight. Bumblebee articulated. They only did the three. Um, a few more would have been great. Soundwave, Grimlock. Of course, they if they had been a series two, they would have done Windblade. I don't know what the fascination like fans just like. There's just some characters that like the fans grabbed onto. Windblade. Drift. I do like drift. All right. So we did rib up modes. Oh, this is perfect. So we did Starscream, Optimus, Bumblebee, and we're gonna do Starscream, Optimus, and Bumblebee in vehicle mode. All right. So I, I happen to find a second set of these. Uh, in the clearance aisle. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? I only bought one. Let me get a second one, open it up. And I just want to point out, look at the package, right? It's G1 art. 40 years later, we're still using that art. Talk about legs. Love it. All right. All right, so these roll. Uh, Star screen has wheels. I don't know if it rolls or not. It doesn't really seem to be rolling. But you know what? These, um, this is great. You can have them flying around Unicron. You can put this in front of Unicron. Bumblebee on the bottom, little Autobot symbol. Little pegs, too. I wonder what those are for. They're die cast, which is nice. You know, pretty pretty generic Optimus. You know, I wonder if there's a license for the... But you know what? Gina Toys does a lot of... Uh... Yeah, it actually says Volkswagen Beagle, Beetle. Optimus is just generic truck. Starscream, generic fighter plane. <laughs> Made in China. China. It actually has the Volkswagen logo on it. Volkswagen wanted nothing to do with Transformers for the longest time. They're like, no, not about war and guns. It's funny what uh, a bunch of movies will do. All right. Here's another Optimus, Starscream Bumblebee, plus a Shockwave. Um, these are the Mini Mates, Series 1. Now, some of these have interchangeable parts, interchangeable heads. Bumblebee comes with a toy accurate or toy inspired head. Toy inspired head. I've been waiting for them to make Mini Mate Transformers for like 10 years. Yeah. Again, I got a sealed set. So this is just my open, open set. Oh, nice. So looking on the back here. These are display stands that they are gonna be placed on. So let's see. First impression, it's tight. Mini mates tend to be tight. Sometimes some of them can be too tight in the arms, you get a little nervous when you move them. Mini mates is weird, you know, I thought mini mates would be something that like, all right, there's gonna be a few, and then after two years, it's gonna go away, but um, they've got staying power. They have staying power.
All right, so Optimus comes with Ion Cannon, Axe. Let's put, let's put Cannon, because I don't want to take the hands out. Oh, I will say that base did not stick very well. And this does not slide into the hand very well. That, that was a chore. My fingers actually hurt getting that gun in there. I got a good friend, his name is uh, Rob Yee. He uh, is the head of uh, Art Asylum. He's in charge of making all these. So well done, Rob and crew. Ugh. All right. Optimus Prime Mini Mate, little Energo Glow, Axe. Put this in a bag somewhere. Goes into the parts bin. Uh, Shockwave. We haven't played with Shockwave tonight. No extra pieces of Shockwave. You know what Shockwave's missing? He's missing that little plastic tube that goes from the barrel all the way to the backpack. It's a minor complaint. He's got clear hands uh, and blaster tip. Very nice touch. Very, very nice touch. Let's see if he goes into, oh, he goes into the holder a lot, uh, to the display stand much easier. Nice, very nice. Uh, we'll do Starscream next because Bumblebee's got a few extra things. Um, I wonder if they'll be able to repaint Starscream into Prowl. Or anybody else. <laughs> of course, I'm just joking. Yes, I fully expect them to repaint Starscream into Soundwave. It's not bad. It's it's not bad. You know you know what it's missing. It's missing the ab turn, which the other mini mates have. But because this one has a big piece, let's actually take one apart. So Bumblebee has that ab thing. No, he doesn't. Oh, he does not. Oh wait. All right, so let's take this off. Here's Bumblebee. We're gonna pop the head off. This is the cartoon comic face. It's a face. This is a more, oh, that, that was tough. This is a more toy, G1 toy inspired face. All right, so let's take, let's take these guys apart. Because these guys are all interchangeable with you know, mini mates across the board. For the most part, they should all be interchangeable. So these little booties come off. So it's got nice little booties. You know, the hands and the arms are all ball joints. All right. It's like a Lego figure, but articulated. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This prevents the turning of the ab on the other figures. So you could technically, I don't want, you know, I don't want to pull that ball joint through this. You can technically make uh, any combination you want. I like toys that give you combination options and you can kind of make whatever figure you want. There was a toy line. What was that called? Glass Protectors? Was that it? I don't remember much about it. But they had options like that. Ahead of its time or not timely enough. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah, these are great. And you know, Bumblebee also comes with a blaster. Because, uh, you know, you want your character that gets... 
What is your emotional connection to the young boy in the story? Your, uh, your, oh my gosh, I'm so old. My foot is like entirely asleep. Oh, that went into the hand much easier. This isn't staying in though. Get in there, you bastard. No, all right. So here's a tip, don't take Bumblebee apart. It's not gonna end well for you. Hey, Bumblebee, I'm using the, you know, more, sh oh, my leg, I'm sorry. Oh my God, oh my leg, oh, I'm so old. Oh, I'm in my jammy jams. Oh. I got a few other things. I found this at the discount store. <laughs> this is the thing that they made. Uh, I forgot what these were called. It's not even listed on the box. Series two. Remember these? These were like the super deformed things. You pulled a little tab, which was the faction symbol on the head, and um, you got your bot. Uh, supposedly there was a there's a code on the side. There's a little hole right here, and you can see the window because uh, lottery issues. Since Hasbro's in the state of Rhode Island, he can't have uh, things be up to chance. Hey, you know what? Cool. We got one I didn't have before. Collecting these was just a pain because they were hard to find. All right. Let me just, before I show it to you. All right. So here's Silver Optimus. It's, it's not Nemesis Optimus. It's just Silver Optimus. Why is he silver? Mind your own business. You're the first coin. All right, so this is the mechanism. Robot mode, it will not stand up. Don't try and stand them up. Even using the museum wax, it's not gonna stand up. And now it's a little vehicle, what I had. Pull the tab up. Yeah, um, God, what the heck were these called? Crap bots? I don't know. These will not stand up for shit. So you just have a bunch of heads lined up on your shelf. <laughs> um, met an awesome guy at TFCon, Xavier. This is his action figure. You know, I, I you know, one to open, one to keep sealed. I think I'm gonna save this one. I'll get a third one to open, because I need him to sign this. I need him to sign it. Xavier's a good guy. Um, but I will open one of these. So we got Moon, Coronation Star Trek. We got Galvatron. We got Hot Rod. Is it Hot Rod or Rodimus? It's Hot Rod. And then we have Sleep Mode Optimus. Or as he's called here, Fallen Optimus. Um, text which one you want me to open to 911. All right. Go ahead, text. And I'm gonna calculate the uh, results here. And Bodie's closed. Okay, Galvatron it is. <laughs> Let's open Galvatron. Now, even though I have another one to, that I'm gonna keep sealed, I really like the cards on these. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the card on this. Put that in in the file. Oh, he doesn't come with his gun. All right, so this is the reaction figure um, from Super 7. Basically, it's an old Kenner style of action figure from inspired by the 70s articulation. It's got five points of articulation, head, arms, legs, no knee joints, no elbow joints. No ball joints on the feet. 
No ankle joints. Oh, this shit. Oh, oh. Sorry. I thought it had an ab crunch for a second. I just realized it's the legs. Oh, man. Back in the day, you wanted a character to sit. That's, that's how they would sit. Every character would sit like that. That's what made G.I. Joe's different. G.I. Joe's had knees. They had swivel arm action. While I like the width of this, the girth leaves something to be desired. I like that. I, f I feel like there needs to be more hanging, more kibble off the back. You know, like this thing. It needs to be hanging off the back more. Um, but hey, uh, it's nice to have a animation accurate or semi-accurate animation heavily inspired Galvatron. Really, really nice. Someone on the Twitter machine recently uh, took a bunch of these and then like the new Galvatron from Kingdom and photoshopped it so it would be the comic colors. Let me tell you, that looked good. That was awesome. That, that was a win. All right. I'm gonna put this knife away for another 10 years. Forget I own it. Thank you very much for watching Cut the Tape. Remember, it's important that as a society, we do what is best because the goods of the many outweigh the good of the few or the one. Think about that. I'm not gonna tell you to get vaccinated. I wanna tell you that, listen, you already have a bunch of vaccines. Chicken pox, polio, tetanus, Lyme, whatever, you've already, what, what's one more? Don't buy into the bullshit. Be, be, take a step back and think about your choices. All right, keep washing hands. Remember to register to vote. More importantly, go vote. And as always, find time to cut the tape. I'm Peter Chavez, Forever Destron. Uh, we'll see you again on Cut the Tape. I mean, Infinity Closet. See you again on Infinity Closet.